Welcome to your Gold Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, the 9th of May 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of Gold Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Uh, there was a mixed session on Wall Street again overnight. Uh, the Nasdaq and the S&P uh, squeezed out small gains, whereas the Dow closed just in the red, all paired early losses. Uh, further earnings, of course, are to come this week. There's about 85% of the S&P 500 reported so far. And of course, eyes may be on that US CPI number tomorrow. US futures are fairly near neutral in Asia. Asian markets are mixed in early trading. SX trading around about 0.25% lower than Nikkei is the outperforming index in Asia. European futures are pointing to a cautious open and the VIX is near neutral over the last 24 hours. US dollar index is up slightly yesterday. Gold remains over 20,000. Actually, breaching 2020 this morning, it's up in the day so far. Copper's up slightly above that 385 support. And oil looks as though it may be fairly close to resistance at this stage and is slightly softer in Asia. Bitcoin is testing 27,000, which is the bottom of its range and is worth keeping an eye on for a potential head and shoulders type pattern, technically. Uh, US earnings continue. Uh, we had Aussie retail sales out early this morning. Chinese trade balance numbers were better than expected. We've got some UK housing data, of course, the Australian budget release this evening on what is another quiet day today. Tomorrow, of course, it ramps up significantly with German and US CPI due and the Bank of England rate decision out on Thursday. Just a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. On the ASX, Wally Parsons look very interesting. They're trading currently at around about 16.29. This was our chart of the day yesterday. Uh, and you can see why it breached that support around about 15.81 and has continued to in today's session. Upside target on this is hard to determine because it hasn't been at this level for some considerable time. But if we look back at a weekly chart, take this right back, uh, then you can see perhaps around about 1880, 1890 looks like an area where it may pause. On the FX front, the GB pound Australian dollar looks interesting. Uh, we're seeing some GB pound weakness across the board really this morning. You can see for the last few hours, we've bounced along at just under 186 on this. Uh, I put a potential price target down here for about 185.50. Uh, this really sort of comes from the four hour chart. We can look here and we can see quite a lot of price action here at this level uh, and very little in between that's of note. So there could be a fairly clear run downwards if we breach this level, but it's obviously worthwhile being patient until it does so. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.